Derbies are normally tough, but this one turned nasty. As Manchester United player Fred went to take a corner, one City fan makes what looks like a racist gesture. Next, the midfielder is hit by something thrown from the crowd. Later, officials found a lighter on the pitch, and Manchester United reported that two black players, Fred and Jesse Lingard, had been racially abused by City fans. Today, police arrested a 41-year-old man. He's currently being questioned. The Etihad Stadium can host around 55,000 fans, but it takes just a few of those to make racist or discriminatory remarks to turn what should be a beautiful game into a very, very ugly one. Manchester City reacted quickly, saying the club operates a zero-tolerance policy regarding discrimination of any kind, and anyone found guilty of racial abuse will be banned from the club for life. But should English footballing bodies follow the international lead? The European UEFA League gave Bulgaria a two-game stadium ban and a fine earlier this year after their fans racially abused England players. Should the same happen at home? Does football have to look at itself and think, hang on a minute, should the clubs themselves face sanction? And that is the issue really now that needs addressing by all the football and bodies, by the Premier League, by the Football League, by the Football Association. The time for campaigns and T-shirts and slogans has to stop at some stage and you have to just turn around and say to the clubs, right, okay, if you've got anyone in your stadium of that nature, you'll be punished. Last season saw a 66% rise in hate crimes during matches in England, like racist abuse against Man City's Raheem Sterling and Arsenal player Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Yes, it could mean that incidents are being better reported, but it is still evidence that there is a problem. It's much safer, it's a much better place to go and watch football now than it was 30, 40 years ago. But there's no doubt over the last two or three years, discrimination has been on the rise as it has in the rest of English society uh, and we have to guard against complacency in thinking that we can't go back to where we were 15-20 years ago. Manchester United went on to win last night's game and Fred's teammate Jesse Lingard wrote not even this idiot can ruin tonight's feeling. It may be the derby but there is never ever a reason to be racist. Katarina Vitozzi, Sky News, Manchester.